So today, YouTube, Hermes have just arrived with this package. Let's see what's inside of here. It's not really heavy, but it was uh, a bit heavy for the uh, driver. Uh, but I didn't think it was heavy. But let's see what's inside. Hope everyone's doing well on the channel and really appreciate your support, guys. Uh, I'm loving this channel, doing what I love, music. Um, if you check out my band, Mysterious Blues, if you uh, like the uh, Facebook page, Mysterious Blues, MBB. All right, that's a power supply. Let's keep going. Let's see what's inside of here. So, lots of bubble wrap. Oh, there we go. We've got a owner's manual. This will give you a clue exactly what it is. Owner's manual. It says Vox, okay, VT40X, VT20X. So that's the uh, instructions there. So I've kind of given it away now, what's inside of here. So are you ready? Ta-da! Look what we got, YouTube. We got this really light Vox Amp. Uh, yeah. Um, I tried one of these uh, at a jam session, which I never ever been before uh, until I went and they had this amp and they said just plug into this amp. So I plugged into it with a Gibson, actually. I used a Gibson SG uh, and it was lovely, the SG. Um, I used my own guitar as well, which was a Squire. Uh, and the Gibson SG just sounded lovely for it. Anyway, this amp is a modeling amp, a box modeling amp. Uh, it's not very old. Um, people slag off these modeling amps uh, that they're no good. But this one is just the uh, VT40X. So after, you know, experiencing one, I thought it's nice and light. I thought, I don't always want to take the massive valve amp uh, to my gigs. I've got a lower back problem, um, which is probably wear and tear from performing on stage and stuff, uh, and running as well. When I was young, I was massively into running. I ran like 12 miles nonstop uh, a lot when I was younger. So I don't do that now. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I just thought, give it a shot. I'll give you a little close-up of what's on top of the amp. But yeah, this is more uh, more light, a lot light, a lot lighter than my valve amp. Uh, very small, compact, uh, 40 watts, uh, and it's got like a valve sort of technology uh, sort of thing. So it was definitely loud enough for an outside gig. Uh, this person was using it outside uh, and he definitely could do, handle it, you know, very well. So I thought, give it a shot. I managed to track one down on eBay. And uh, I thought, well, that's not expensive. They don't go for a lot of money because, uh, well, because people like valve amps and they've got a bit of a bad rep, modeling amps. Um, they've got a lot better since uh, they first come out. Um, now, I was looking at an older model of this amp. You can get older ones, they look a bit older. I think they're about 10 years old sort of thing, that sort of age. Um, but they sounded very plasticky on the YouTube demos. Uh, but this sounded good on the YouTube demos and it sounded good in person as well. And remember, I'm used to a valve amp. So if this sounds good, then it must be good. Um, and also I wanted something lighter, like I said, uh, for the pubs and stuff, it's just nice to have something a bit lighter, a bit more smaller. Uh, yeah, 
Let's get into it. I'll show you. So this is a close-up on the amp. Uh, yeah, it looks stunning from the front. Um, yeah, so we've got input, foot switch. You can buy a foot switch. You can save the uh, settings, you know. You've got USB. Um, don't know what that does, but there's so much on it. Um, yeah, presets and all that chorus. You can, you know, stack them however you want to. Uh, it uses some kind of foot switch, which you can buy. Uh, yeah, it's got loads of stuff on it. Uh, it's got an auxiliary in, uh, and the output would be the headphones. You could run the headphones to a PA if you really wanted to, and it, it would sound fine. The, the only way we'll find out is plugging it in, really. There's not much on the back. Um, yeah, it's just the power. I think it's made in um, Vietnam. Yeah, it's made in Vietnam. So yeah, you know, Vox, hopefully they make good stuff. So I've plugged the amp in with the guitar. I've just put it on a setting. There's so many different amp settings. Man, I'm blown away. When I turned it on, it turned on just like a valve amp. It just turned on just like my Line 6 valve amp. Amazing. Um, so, uh, I'm on the Deluxe uh, channel, I think. It's like a Deluxe amp setting. Probably took after a Fender. Let's see what it sounds like. I put a bit of reverb on it. Uh, and it sounded like spring reverb. There's so many different settings. It's just like, man, I could spend all day with this amp. But uh, I was really impressed how loud it was. So that means, I mean, you know, they're getting so much better. So yeah, there's a bit of reverb and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> noise sometimes you can get from a bow amp but that's just analog technology uh this is obviously uh newer technology uh but it it, it really just turned on like a bow amp tell you <laughs> on the older models but this one it, it just blown me away just blown me away and it's so small and light they seem really loud <laughs> experienced uh, old Marshall valve amps and they can be you know noisy night but that's part of the sound isn't it 
and that's part of the technology. Um, so yeah, I'm blown away. Um, that sounded just like a tweed, didn't it? You know, very close, very, very close. Uh, not much in it, you know? If you put a side by side, a real um, Fender tweed, four by 10. Um, that's only great. Um, and the volume is on really, really low and the power's on really, really low. Um, yeah, so amazing, amazing. <laughs> Molly lamps have just come a long way. Just really have, they've become, you know, just as good or better, let's say, than valve amps. <laughs> say in a room if you were gigging maybe put it on a chair or, or up higher a little bit um, what I could probably do with this amp is I use my phone for these videos I could probably uh, use the headphone jacket and then put it into the phone with a USB and then you'd get a better quality sound uh, so later on I might do another video uh, where I've got to know the amp a bit more and I might do that as well. I might start doing that um, if I use this amp. Um, I'll probably do it actually with the bigger one as well, but um, I mean the bigger amps, it's not really designed for the home really. You can use it for home. You can uh, uh, make the power, uh, you know, half what it, you know, it's meant to be. Um, but realistically, you know, it's, it's a proper massive, valve amp you know um designed for big festivals let me go to the vox ac30 setting it does sound like a vox amp you know you can get that uh brian may tone i think from first impressions <laughs> And it was a big massive thing and I think it was one of the very very first modeling lamps and it was absolutely dreadful I hated it with a passion really hated it um, so glad I actually got rid of it uh, but uh, that was years and years ago that must have been when they first come out or it might have been a valve one actually and it might have had a problem but either way it just sounded dreadful um, yeah so this this is really really good um, let's go to the BTQ um, D setting, see what it comes up with. <laughs> setting which is a Vox AC yeah Vox AC 30 TB to the Brit 800. That must be something British. Yeah, so it sounds a bit martially, doesn't it? Why did I go out and buy myself a big massive valve amp, line six, which cost me a lot of money. 
But yeah, um, I bet the prices will go up on this, these things. Uh, Brit or Mark II. I've actually tried the modeling Fender amps before as well and I was blown away with that, but I think I'm blown away a little bit more with this. But before buying it, I had the pleasure of experiencing somebody else's amp in a gigging environment. So I knew that this gig, I mean, sorry, I knew that this amp would be suitable for the gigs I do. <laughs> Let's move on to the next amp setting. So we got double R E C. Don't know what this is, but. Sounds a bit heavier. Um, the amps uh, setting, the gain is really low, so it can. Have more gain. Have more gain if you want it. So we've got user A. Let's see what this is. They're all slightly different, aren't they? It's like it's like having, you know, different big mug pedals or different fuzz face pedals. They're slightly different, some of these uh amp settings. Obviously, some of them are completely different. Like you get a, a Marshall sort of sound. Uh, then we got, uh, it's called User B, whatever that is. You don't need to buy pedals with this because you know you got the foot switch. If you buy, buy the foot switch, you've got got it all. Um, but I do have a pedal board, so there's no point buying the, the foot switch, you know. But uh, the more technology's gone on, the less pedals you can use. You don't need them, you know. Um, that sounded a bit fuzzy to me, so that sounded more like a Henrik sort of vibe. On the uh, that's the kind of vibe I was getting, like a manic depression. <laughs> Face sort of thing. Um, yeah, so let's go to user C. sounded like um well like a van halen type of thing that's my take but i could be wrong who am i so yeah it's just got so much on it got valve one valve two god knows what these do so if i turn the valve one down So just playing around without looking at the instructions, looks like the valve one knob, sort of, um, when you're on the uh, reverb, uh, it looks like it controls the reverb. I'm on a bit of distortion. So you can turn it up. Then you can turn it down. This amp needs to be turned down. <laughs> Too loud, so just having a little play with it 
you can see the pedal one, which I'm guessing if you had a foot switch, I'm on the course now. I was on the distortion. I've just been on the overdrive compression, but I'm on the chorus. Um, and this is the kind of thing you get. Um, yeah, there's different reverbs. Uh, there's a, a tap tempo, I think, for the delay. So yeah, this is what a chorus would sound off of uh, this amp. <laughs> Sounds great. If I go to pedal two, switch that on, because I'm on the overdrive and tremolo's next to it, it looks like you get like a tremolo effect. Let me turn the reverb down because that's too much for me. So yeah, I've turned the reverb off for now. Amazing. Uh, yeah, there's so much on it. Um, I mean, if we go to uh, chorus and we got pedal two, <coughs> we got like a flanger. <coughs> I just really can't um, get my head around how much there is to play around. Uh, just amazing what these amps can do. I need to get my head around it. I need to read the instructions. Uh, it all works fine from what I gather and everything. What a wonderful amp. Um, I'll do another video um, when I know how to use it a bit more. But this, this was just an unboxing video and just, you know, uh, just to share my experience uh, with uh, plugging it in. So I hope you've liked the video. I hope you've got something out of it. Um, like and subscribe uh, if you've uh, enjoyed the video and uh, if you can pick one up, get it. I really rate the amp, really, really rate it. Um, I rate it more than the Roland Blues Cube Hot Amp. I rate this amp a lot more. Um, and this actually feels like a valve amp more than that. Um, amazing, just amazing. The technology, it just come a long, long way. So yeah, good one, nice one, Vox. And uh, the Fender amps as well. They're making the brand new Fender amps, the modeling ones, amazing. You know, my, my bassist, he's got a modeling uh, Fender bass amp. Uh, absolutely blown away how much power, how good it sounds. I've got a friend who does all his YouTube videos, all his home uh, stuff, recording, anything like that. And he, I think he even uses it on some very small sort of sessions and stuff and gigs. Um, he's got a, a Fender, brand new, uh, you know, 25 one. Uh, just blown away. Again, sounds very close to a valve amp. Uh, but I'm really impressed with this. Anyway, like and subscribe. Thank you.